Nintendo Entertainment System. Hey everybody, Nick Wolf here, and welcome to a new series I'm going to try and do, uh, essentially just kind of keep, essentially kind of a list of all the games I have at what point. So, basically, this kind of series will just be me talking about my collection of games for a certain system, then showing you guys the games, and giving my own little kind of uh, history, what, you know, how I got the games, or how it was introduced, or my personal thoughts. Kind of like that. I figured what better way to start than with the NES. Now, unfortunately, this NES actually doesn't work. Um, so, funny story. The first kind of old school game store I ever went to, it was in my grandma's town a few towns over. And um, it was really cool. They got I got Super Nintendo there. I got a lot of good games there. And then, uh, by, and then I got this. And um, the NES... Uh, took it home, didn't really have time to like get it set up because we had other stuff to do that day. Uh, but then like the following weekend, which was about a week later, I had time, set it up to the TV, played all my other old school games, and then it wouldn't turn on. Like at all. So I was like, oh, well that's something. But you know, I, I tried a different, few different things, tried it on different TVs, and it just doesn't go at all. So I'm like, oh, well, looks like I'll have to return it. Then, the next time we go over to visit my grandma, the store has closed down. So, now I have this as a trophy, and it's just kind of, you spent more money on me than you should have, because I don't even work. So, and then for years I didn't even have, like, a way to play NES games, but, but then recently my local game store, which opened, actually got me, um... They had an FC Twin, which is basically a Super Nintendo and a Nintendo on one console. That's what I use for those two systems. It's just so much easier to have them both together. But regardless, I have an NES here, so here for authentic authenticity. And I'll start with the games, I guess. Um, so unless I'm mistaken, I think the first game out of these that I ever bought was a good old Super Mario Bros. X Duck Hunt. And I actually also have a uh, one of the gun peripherals. Which is interesting. But, uh, I got this. I mean, it's Mario Bros. What are you going to say? I've never actually played the Duck Hunt variation. Because, uh, the SC Twin doesn't actually allow you to connect the gun. So, we got this one. So, we're all pretty standard. Um, the next, I guess, just kind of going to the list we have. Mario Bros. 2. This is actually the hardest one of the original Mario games for me to find for some reason. I don't really know why it was. It was just, like... A pain to find. It took so long. It's the last. Pretty sure this is the final Mario game that I like needed to complete my Mario collection. So it's funny that it's this one that was such a pain. But Mario Bros. Two, uh, Super Mario Brothers Three. Um, great game, honestly. Uh, it was actually a point I had not played any NES games for quite a while. So um. Something that was actually kind of hilarious. I went to try this out in some other games, and they like worked perfectly fine. So that was like, like yep, NES quality. You, you can not play something for years and then go back to it. And, yep, still fine. But Super Mario Bros. Three, great game. Uh, next one, just kind of in that genre. Ooh, Doctor Mario. I will say I'm not the best at Doctor Mario, um, but it's all right. It's you know for a puzzle game on the NES. It's not bad. Um, I don't really have much to say. Mario 60, uh, Dr. Mario 64 is actually really good. I haven't, I've never gotten a chance to get that game, but from what I've played or seen of it, it's actually like really good because it gives it a story, which is weird, but overall, Dr. Mario NES, not bad. Um, then what I actually guess got very recently, Donkey Kong Classics includes the original Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr., um, so what's interesting about this game is uh, I was actually looking, you know, I've been searching for Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. carts just to have them, and then this came in, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll just get both of these. It's weird how it's not Donkey Kong 3, though, and I'm pretty sure there is a Donkey Kong 3 on NES, so I don't get why it wasn't with this one, but I don't know. But yeah, so Donkey Kong Classics, which is really cool. Uh, I actually... Literally just got this one, but Yoshi's Cookie. Uh, it's another puzzle game. I haven't got a chance to actually play it out yet, but 
Um, overall, really, I mean, the art style is adorable, so you can already tell it's probably going to be really good. But I think this was the, f no, it wasn't the first, but it was like, I think Yoshi's only appearance on the NES. I might be wrong about that, though, but overall, um, I've heard very good things about this game, though, so I'm very excited to try it out. Uh, now some other Nintendo game or er, peas. I have Kid Icarus. Yeah, I got this a little while ago. I have um, Uprising for 3DS, and then I I've heard, I've never really even seen the Game Boy one, but I found this at the game store, and it was like, oh yeah, sure, I'll try Icarus. Uh, I haven't got a chance to try it yet, but I'm just gonna say it's like it'll probably have to be like its own dedicated afternoon because I feel like it's probably very challenging. Uh, another game I got it's Metroid. I was actually looking for Metroid for quite a while. I was actually started collecting Metroid games, and uh, look, when you know it, I'm like kind of starting to get a bit of a collection. Um, I see on Facebook a friend of mine tagged me. It's like, hey, these guys have Metroid, <laughs> like old school NES Metroid. I'm like, oh, well, know where I'm going today. So picked it up. Really nice. I was a little worried because when I went to get this one, actually, uh. There was this guy looking at, like, all the case games, and he picked this one up and looked at him like, ah, I need that, I want that. But uh, he ended up not going for it, so I got Metroid, which is cool. Uh, me and a buddy of mine actually tried this out the day I bought it, and it <laughs> didn't go well at all. We died so many times. It was great. But overall, Metroid. Um, and then, of course, The Legend of Zelda. Gold cart. This was the original cartridge that uh, we got. It was the gold plate. This is actually the only, or no, one of the only gold plated carts I actually have. I have to do a few others, but yes. So uh, this was another one that was actually pretty hard to find, but I found it, and then uh, immediately after, something pretty funny happened, uh, which da 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 da. I have another version. Wait, wait, what? Why do you have two Zelda ones? Well. Uh, this is a great car version. It was a reprinted variation of Zelda 1, but instead of, you know, it just has a gray cartridge instead of a gold one, but the gray is actually rarer than gold in Zelda 1 at least, so picked it up, figured, yeah, why not have a rarer version of Zelda 1, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then, now for the last few, uh, let's see. One of them is Tetris. Uh, I basically just got this because I am addicted to Tetris. That's it. It's a great game on Game Boy or NES. Uh, another one I got a while ago. This was actually in the middle of kind of like a Metal Gear high. I got Metal Gear for uh, NES. It's not the original on the, you know, whatever the original system was, but I was pretty excited when I found this. And just the other day, I actually found Snake's Revenge, the non-canonical sequel. Because um, basically, the Amer like the people who made the NES version were like, "Man, this is really popular. We could make another one." Made Snake's Revenge. It's not that good. Um, and then Hideo Kojima basically was like, "I could do a better sequel." Or I think it was when this was in development. He started Metal Gear Two, Salt Snake, and then yes, he made a better sequel. Uh, so Dragon War, this will become the Dragon Quest series later on. Uh, I got this for only $5, which I haven't played it, so it might not be worth $5 nowadays with the way RPGs in the 80s go, but I figured I would give it a shot. haven't had a chance to try it out yet. So I was on a Castlevania high for quite a while as well. Um, and the only one I've been able to find is Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. I think there was... Four at one point, but didn't have enough for it that day, and then it was just gone. So, but I do have Simon's Quest, so that's at least a start. Uh, and then the final one I have here is 3D World Runner. This was completely just in the mindset of I don't know what this is, so I tried it out. It's basically 3D, it's NES 3D, so it's not that good. But if you ever try it or find it, give it a shot. Because it's probably not that expensive. Um, now for my last three that are boxed. So my buddy of mine actually, as I started a Zelda collection, he actually gave me 
Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Uh, it's a pretty good condition box, actually. Um, I don't believe it has a manual. Nah, it doesn't. But overall, I mean, the cardboard itself is still pretty good, so pretty happy to get that. I actually had a chance uh, to get... Uh, come on. Um, to get a great cart version of this game, but I decided against it because I have that ma too many variations of Zelda 1 anyway. Uh, but overall, yeah. I mean, it's really cool to have this in the box, especially, so. And then, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, got, I have three versions of Zelda 1, actually. Uh, this was a complete inbox, though. It is has everything from the instructions to everything else. So, yeah. This is actually, I believe, my third rarest game, I want to say. But um, the guy who sold this to the store basically was like, he didn't like it because it had that, you know, it had this. It was just not the original release. Which is like, what? But I guess when you get far enough into the series, you know, into collection, you, that can happen, but... Overall, really cool to have this in, like, an actual box, though. So, really cool. And now my final game, you're probably going, oh, God, why is this here? Friday the 13th. Oh, God. So, story about this. So, this game, so this game itself is terrible. <laughs> That's the first thing. But this copy in particular is special. You see, it's kind of got, like, a plastic wrap around it. That is because this copy has never been opened. It is... Still in its factory seal, never touched oxygen. Never like aside from this plastic, it's got a you know the saran wrap around it. And then it's got the box itself. Never touched oxygen. Uh, I paid about 180 for this, so it's technically the rarest thing in my collection. Um, but yeah, so just the fact that it's been like it's 27 or 28 years that have never been opened, and that is just amazing to me. So. But honestly, you know, the box itself is in pretty good condition. Yeah, it was... When I bought this, the guy's like, man, you know, that's a pretty rare item. It's like, it's just a shame that, like, it's not a better game. But if it was a better game, then it'd probably be more expensive. But honestly, I really like this. Uh, all of these games, all the previous games I've shown are in, like, a little... With all my other games. But this one is actually, like, sitting on my desk in, like, its own little shrine almost, so... But yeah, so that is pretty much all of my NES titles that I currently have. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it, or let me know how yours NES collections are. Because uh, I'd love to hear it, because I always... This is a system I don't usually end up collecting for all that much, just for the fact that I, I don't have time to deal with the NES hard, usually. But honestly, if uh, you guys have great stories, I'd love to hear them. Especially if you have some of these games as well, so. Oh, there's so many. Anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, and then the next video will probably be basically this, but with the Super Nintendo. So, hope you have enjoyed. And as I will see you guys again later. See ya.